Hi everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use AB, ABI decode and encode. So whenever you send data to a smart contracts on Ethereum, uh, you essentially uh, you know encode your data to bytes. You know this is what happened behind the scene, and uh, smart contracts actually take advantage of ABI in order to decode that and understand the code. So we are going to mess around with that today, and uh, I'm going to show you one simplistic example to understand how ABI works. So we make a contract, it's called ABI and ABI test, let's say, and we do need two simple functions, function, uh, let's say, decode or encode, and then we need a function decode, right? So, now we need to specify our function. So function encode, you know, take some uh, parameters and try to encode them to bytes. And function decode, take the bytes and return the data. I mean, you can do this, you know, contract to contract and uh, remotely, but I show you, you know, locally on one singular um, smart contract here. And that's why I define that my, my function is external and uh, here so it doesn't change the state and it returns uh, you know uh, you know bytes. Okay, so that's its you know uh, format and what do I want to pass here? I'm gonna pass few parameters. You can do pass a lot of things like a struct, uh, different you know uh, data types, but I just make it very simple. So I pass like a number, I call this number um, count one, and then I have um, one address, let's say, um, and the address is address, and the other one is parameter two whatsoever. I mean, you can add a lot, as you can pass a struct, like so many different things, uh, but I just try to make it simple. And parameter two, okay, some, some structure like that. Very simple. And uh, and what decode does for us, it takes basically bytes and returns you know data. Okay, so what it takes, it defines data type, you know, bytes, call data data. So why I could also use memory here, but uh, in one of my articles I mentioned why I use this because it's uh, you know reduces gas consumption. This is good in terms of gas optimization here. So you can also use like memory. Um, <coughs> this is also another external contract and uh, this is peer. What it returns, it returns, uh, you know, it should be match here. You know, the type of data I return with what I coded here because, you know, um, one of the main applications of ABI decode encode is in, in call and delegate call. So if you're familiar with call and delegate call, you know that they're what they should be matched. You know, there. So I call this u int and what it returns. I mean, I use the parameter one, let's say, and then it returns address ABR and it returns. Test two, right? So first, let's finish us. Uh, you know, let's finish our you know encode function here. Um, so the, the command here is quite simple. You know, here we just need to return, and we take advantage of ABI. You know, encode function. And the argument here is you know. The, the parameters. So I just pass them here, param one, and then I have ABR, and then I have param two, right? That's it. That's for function and encode function. Now we need to go to return function here. So what do we need? Um, we again take advantage of ABI, and here decode okay and decode function returns you know 
what we give it as an input input here you know we get the bytes from another smart contract from locally here data uh, from you know external invocation we get this data and and how we want to return that and interpret that right so we, it's the first field here is new int so it, it's this memory slot and you int and then it needs address and it needs you int again but like i said you know if you have more stuff here like a struct arrays things like that uh, you've got to change this in a basic one but this is just a simple example okay so we read that and then we want to return that in this format okay Copy paste and okay. So far seems to be everything seems to be good and uh, I think it's fine. We can uh, test that so in order to compile that you can locally compile that i use remix most of the time and to use remix you know one way is just copy paste this i mean if you are not familiar with remix i can show you what is this so this is remix if you go to remix ethereum org then you can have this runtime compiler so one way is to make a file here, you know, and, uh, you know, add the stuff here uh, and then, you know, do your own things, write your code here. Another way, a smarter way is to use, a, you know, uh, a tool, a CLI tool called RemixD. So why is it important? Because if you have larger scale projects with multiple, you know, classes and so on, you can't just simply, you know, copy paste that there. It would be really pain in the neck. And the best way is to use you know the CLI tool. So if you don't know this tool, you can use npm um, install um, you know slash g and remix d. But I do have it, so I'm not gonna reinstall that. Um, let's see, let me check this. Yeah, I do have it here. This is the version I have. Okay, sounds good so how it works if you just type pitch you know it tells you what to do so you just need to use switch s and then you need to point to the root of your folder so here is the we are in the root and then uh, you need to specify remix uh, uh, ide uh, and this is located on https uh, uh, remix Ethereum. Okay, it's working. Come over here and here in your Remix, you need to go to workspace and choose local, localized. And it's loading. All right, here's my contract. So, all right, so compile and everything is okay. Um, now I'll go over here deploy the contract so here's our contract so first we encode something right so let's say uh, the first number um, I would say uh, four address just give address from here and the parameter two thousand okay encode this is the encoded one. This is what you see, you know, AVI when, you know, smart contracts communicate with each other, okay? So this is what you see on the network. And let's see decode this one. I copy this and I have decode function, right? I go here, paste it here. And let's see, does that return correctly this stuff? This is how I can return it and decode this. All right, you know, I can see everything correctly. So this is how basically smart contracts communicate and uh, uh, read data on the network. And if you hear about you know, ABI, so that's ABI. Uh, so in this video, I try to show you how to take advantage of ABI to encode and decode you know, 
data in code data to bytes and how to you know return that convert that to data i hope you enjoyed this video if you like that please don't forget to follow me up uh, subscribe to my channel you can also contact me via my email you can check my github and the other social uh, media thank you very much for your attention and uh, good luck and see you soon